I got something a little different for today's video. This does not belong to me, this belongs to my friend Chris, who asked that I take a look at it and hopefully solve a issue with this. This is a General Electric Space Maker under cabinet AM FM clock radio. It's model 7-4232A. And if I had to guess, this is probably from the mid or late 90s. It's a pretty neat unit. You've got your LED clock. You've got an AM FM radio manually tuned. You've got, oh, it's on the other side, an appliance outlet where you can plug something up to 12 amps into that outlet and the outlet is controlled by this rotary switch. So if I turn this switch on, the outlet is on, and you might or might not have been able to hear a relay click. Might be able to hear the relay click there. There's also an automatic mode for the appliance outlet, so you can set a time for the outlet to turn on, so that's really cool. Um, uh, a usage example would be if you had a coffee maker, just a really simple coffee maker with an on-off switch. Uh, put the coffee maker on this automatic timer and it'll turn on when it reaches the time and automatically start brewing your coffee in the morning. That's pretty neat. There's this timer function, but I haven't been able to figure out how it works, but that's all right for the purposes of this video. That's not the end of this thing's bag of tricks yet. Uh, it's also got a light with two intensity settings. And it, uh, you have this under the cover and the light shines down like that. Pretty nifty. It's a 40 watt incandescent bulb. There it is right there. And it's a GE bulb too, so it might be the original. But yeah. What a nifty little device. AM FM radio, clock, automatic uh, appliance outlet, and a light, pretty neat. It was made in China, specifies 45 watt input. That would be 40 watts for the bulb and five watts for everything else. Neat. So here's what's up with this thing. Uh, some of the switches don't work very well. Um, the light switch, is a little bit touchy, but what's definitely touchy is the radio button. Let me tune it into something here. That's right. So from the beginning, the CDC has said... Sounds great. ...fever, cough, and shortness of breath. And now uh, the CDC has added six more key symptoms. So those include chills. Really big speaker on it. Very impressive sound quality. Anyway, um, yeah, so the radio switch, it's a momentary, it's a micro switch push button. What'll often happen is you press it and you hear the speaker pop like it's turning on, but then nothing comes out. I think it's turning on and then immediately turning off. I think the switch is bouncing. Yeah, you can hear the speaker pop. Persistent. So it works like 75% of the time. So that's that's probably just a dirty switch. So we will be opening this thing up and I'll spray that down with some contact cleaner. Um, I think the AM FM switch is also a little bit hairy. If I can get the radio on again. Yeah. Just touching it. It's a bit hairy. So I'll give that a spray down too. So that's pretty much the rundown of this thing. Uh, let's see if I can get into it. I'm not sure if we attack it from the bottom or the top. There's screws on both sides. Very rusty screws on this side. Um, I think I'll start from the top. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Six screws. So let me get into those and we'll see if that grants us access. After a considerable amount of effort, we are in. That cover did not want to come off. The front end of it was just really hanging on there and eventually I just had to brute force it off. Maybe it was these clips hanging on or something, I don't know. But we are in. Look at the size of that speaker. 16 ohms, three watts. They weren't messing around. 
Under there, I assume, is the relay for the appliance outlet. There's your AM antenna. The power cord probably serves as the FM antenna. And is there a year on that chip? Uh, it says 936, so that might be 1999. Are there any other chips hanging around? There's one behind here, but I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. That one says 9V7. And now that I think of it, the light bulb has an underscored 9 on the edge, which for these old GE incandescent bulbs usually determines the year. So, 1999 for this thing, I'm confident in saying. Cool. Now, next order of business, the on-off switch for the radio is on this little board held in with these little screws with not a lot of space to get in there to unscrew the screws so I don't know if I'll be able to unscrew those screws I you know what I bet this front panel separates from the rest of the unit once you undo these very rusty screws on the underside so let me try that alright now we're talking I just had to undo those screws and then slide this part of the wiring up over this post to give it enough room to move and now we can definitely get to that switch but man, look at these screws. They're fine underneath, but on the top, wow, they're nasty. I'm gonna hit those up with a wire brush right quick. There, that's looking better. Now, let's get that board out. All right, three screws later, we're in. Now I just gotta spray the crap out of that switch and uh, work it while it's wet. Just like that. Do that a bunch of times. Spray it and then work it a bunch to work the cleaner in. Same thing for the AM FM switch. I'm just gonna give it a hit. Try and get it right in the little slot there. And then work it back and forth a bunch. And then once I'm done doing that, I'll hit up the volume control. Even though it's working just fine, I'll hit it up anyway just for preventative maintenance. And uh, then we'll put this thing back together and see how it works. Oh, I almost forgot about the uh, light switch. That just comes out with two screws. I'll give that a squirt too. All right, we're all back together, plugged in. Let's see how good of a job I did. Well, it's not dead, so that's, that's one for the win. Let's see how well this radio button works. And then you watch the dial. Good. What are the dials? We'll see, how, we'll see if I can do a bunch of on-off cycles without it skipping. So there's no restaurants or we normal yet. The governor says if the COVID-19 so New York will again. Interesting idea is the towns and si haven't seen. Awesome. It works perfect now. How about the AM FM switch? I we'll sooner. The problem might mean people leave hot spots and traveling to places as they reopen spot, hot spots watching for details region this might be managed that's working a lot better too and the light switch that's a little finicky but i think that's just the design of the switch it is a high voltage switch after all but that's working fine that's about it this thing is working good now and ready to go back to chris who I am sure will get many more years of service out of this thing now. What a nice piece of equipment. Very, very convenient. Clock, radio, overhead light, all in one unit that slips under your, under your uh, cabinet. Very nice. I almost want to go on eBay and find one of these, see if I can find an older version. That would be neat. But yeah, really cool. So there's a little partial teardown and maintenance of a General Electric Model 7-4232A under cabinet AM FM clock radio from 1999. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.